May in the Summer is about uh, a woman named May who returned to uh, Jordan, which is where her family lives, to plan her summer wedding. But I like to describe it as a divorce drama disguised as a wedding comedy. Well, I think, they're, um, I think they're important themes because they're not often talked about. So in a way, I, I definitely want to explore them um, because they are taboo, um, because they are controversial, and, um, and also because they are very prevalent within the culture. I mean, the, it's, um, it's something that you hear about a lot, um, that you uh, see in various families, you know, conflicts between family members because of religious differences, you know, different opinions about, uh, or different values about how to live life, whether to get married, not to get married. You know, I wanted to make a movie that was diving into those taboos, but was also looking at um, the juxtaposition of opposites. So, you know, you have the Arab and the American, two cultures clashing. You have the Christian and the Muslim, you know, two religions clashing. You have uh, modernity versus traditional beliefs. Um, uh, and you know those two things clashing, so it was um, a lot of opposites that I wanted to that I wanted to explore. I consider myself a storyteller. You know, for me, I it's all about the story. And so, you know, there are stories that I really want to tell as a writer and a director, and then there are stories that I read that other people have written that I love and that I would love to help breathe life into and put out into the world. And those are the stories that I would consider you know, either producing or, or acting in. This is my second feature film, as was mentioned before, and uh, I see it as kind of the reverse of Embrika, for those of you who have, are familiar with my first film, Embrika. You know, that film was about a Palestinian woman who immigrates to the U.S., and it really depicts the experience of being Arab in the U.S. And I wanted to tell the other side of my own cultural experience, um, the side that was known always growing up as the Arab, or sorry, as the American in the Arab world, so that's what inspired uh, me in the summer. Uh, as you're not uh, married to Ziad, would you like to marry me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk after. <laughs> you have to talk to her mother. <laughs> <laughs>